don't know if this is the case or not. But usually when uh, a, a instance of like uh, one domestic partner is murdered, the immediate suspect is the other partner that is alive, right? Like that's... Mar Jimenez, who has been following this. Anyway, let's uh, talk about yet few- another mass shooting in the United States of America, of course. Two moments ago, watching all this happen, did you hear anything new from police? We now know there are six people who have been um, shot, uh, including a police officer. Do we hear anything about their conditions or anything like that? Well, you know, we, we got the, the tragic update uh, as we're seeing that, that five people are dead, six taken to the hospital after mm. the shooting. And obviously when you first get reports of, of an active shooter, of an active aggressor, th- these are the types of reports that you worry about. That the- Okay, uh, CNN at the time said five killed, but now I'm looking at uh, WLKY. Maybe they have uh, a, a better update here, but their, their tally shows... Uh, four killed. The four who were died. The the four people who were, who were died. Or who died? What the fuck is wrong with me? The shooter is dead. I think it's four plus one. Oh, got it. The four people who died were all employees of the bank. LMPD to identify them as Tommy Elliott, sixty three, Jim Tut, sixty four, Josh Barrick, forty, and Juliana Farmer, forty five. Elliott, the senior vice president, was a close friend of both Governor Andy Bashir and Mayor Craig Greenberg. We lost four of our children to God today, one of whom was one of my closest friends, Bashir said. Nine people were hospitalized in all, including at least three officers. One LMPD officer, Nicholas Wilt, was shot in the head and is receiving brain surgery. Holy fuck. Police aren't sure yet on a motive or how the shooter got the rifle. They did say he live streamed the shooting somewhere on social media. SWAT swarmed his home in South Louisville. We're also told by a former employee that there's a typical sales meeting on Monday around 8.30, which is when the shooting happened. Greenberg called the shooting an evil act of targeted violence. He live streamed on Instagram. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the, uh, what the motives are in a lot of circumstances. I think we all know some good guesses where, no, I don't think it's like, um, I don't know, uh, what his motivations or what his motives were, but in a lot of circumstances, it's like this, it's like this, I'll explain it like this. Usually, and I don't know if this is the case or not. But usually, when uh, a, a instance of, like, uh, one domestic partner is murdered, the immediate suspect is the other partner that is alive, right? Like, that's kind of who they assume at first, right? It's, like, the immediate suspect. Unless circumstances are, like, so fucking clear that, you know, you clear the person. In a similar capacity, in a workplace shooting like this, the bank makes it possibly ideologically motivated. It would be very unlikely given statistics on how these things work. But maybe. I I suspect it's my immediate suspicion in situations like this is is always a workplace dispute. You know, you go back to your place of work and you go and you fight back. Um, you, you go and you fucking bring a gun and you go postal. That's the, the concept. It's a very American thing, unfortunately. The problem is, and he worked for the bank. They notified him he was losing his job. They were talking about it on CNN earlier today. Yeah, that, that unfortunately, that is, uh, I mean, it's, it's typical. or something, but uh, it does seem to be a uh, a disgruntled former employee, which is usually how these things work, unfortunately. That's like the the extremely common meta. Um, Why is it extremely common? Why don't they do this kind of thing in the UK, for example? Like, people get fired there. 
Why don't they do this kind of thing in Germany? For example, people get fired there as well. Why don't they do this in Canada? Canada is very close to the United States of America. People also get fired there. Well, you know, I think at this point, I covered this recently, uh, not that long ago, last week, but uh, ease of access to an arsenal of weapons could perhaps be the most common difference. Um, so, yeah. It's, you know, I can, you can say any other country, pretty much. Uh, when you don't have social safety nets, when you don't have mental health treatment, when you don't have uh, any kind of, you know, any kind of future prospects for yourself, when you're just constantly going in day in, day out, working for the man, and you have a gun, uh, and then you get fired, a severely life-changing thing happens and you snap, no matter what happens, you know, it's still going to end up with a situation like this. The situation updates to the, the casualties that, that we're seeing here, the, the fatalities that are being reported here. Now, one thing that we did learn from this as well is that the, the active aggressor threat, as they described it, was over. They said the suspected shooter uh, has been neutralized or the shooter has been neutralized at this point. We're also learning a little bit more about what was happening as this was unfolding. But this is coming from a witness account uh, who is nearby, who spoke to one of our affiliates, saying he got a call from his wife who said there was an active shooter and that she was locked inside a vault at the old National Bank here. And so the man called 911, but officers were already aware. He, this was happening around 8.30 uh, in the morning there. He described it as a traumatic phone call with his wife essentially calling him from inside uh, the bank vault where she was sheltering at the time. He's since talked to her and that she's okay, but obviously this was a situation that, that the shooter was, uh, was actively firing at folks, and we know at least one person, potentially even others, were, were sheltering inside a bank vault just to just to be safe, just to protect themselves. And so, obviously, we've gotten the update from police that that some of these casualties have confirmed now into fatalities, and that others have been taken to the hospital. Their conditions are still unknown. We know the governor is headed out to the scene right now. We know there's law enforcement at multiple jurisdictions that have said they they are responding at the local level, Louisville Police, but also ATF. FBI. And so I think at this point, we're now waiting to see what develops from here, including the potential identity of the shooter here. And we watch to see if these numbers unfortunately grow uh, as they as they typically do when we get into the early stages of reporting mass shootings like these, Sarah. Really terrifying hearing that account yeah. um, from inside of the bank, a woman in a bank vault saying someone was shooting. There are lots of potential things that may have happened here. We don't know at this point if there was a robbery, if this was a disgruntled. We don't know anything about why, but we do know now five people have perished in this shooting. You've got one person who's been taken to the hospital, Omar Jimenez. Thank you so much for following this story for us. Classified documents leaked. The Justice Department has launched an investigation to who leaked them and how as the Biden administration looks. We all know guns don't actually cause gun violence. Not having enough guns do actually sweaty the gay liberal agenda is the issue. True. Um, no, the shooter's not alive. I think he's also dead. Um, he got shot by the cops. Now, from what I understand, he actually, he actually, uh, the cops uh, arrived on the scene fairly quickly. It is a gun. It is a bank. You know, you're going into a bank with a gun. Cops are going to arrive fairly quickly. Um. However, even then, four people died and the shooter died as well, but four victims died and one cop might actually die as well. He got shot in the head and nine uh, people were injured, including that one cop that I just mentioned. Now, um, what did, this is a breaking news story, so obviously we don't have access to all the details yet. And I usually like to cover at least some of the, the basics, the meat of what is going on, and then wait for further details. However, banks are, of course, not a gun-free zone. That's number one, or at least, like, you know, they have security. Uh, 
obviously that hasn't stopped people from uh, speculating uh, about what the shooter's motivations were. Chat, are you complaining they arrived fast because it's a bank? There are humans in there too. Shut the fuck up. No. The reason why I brought up the fact that they arrive fast because it's a bank is because even when cops arrive super fucking fast on scene and neutralize the suspect slash kill him, people still die. So even when cops are doing, even when cops are doing the right thing, even when cops are doing the right thing, there is still clearly there's still clearly more that our legislators need to do with respect to red flag laws and taking some of these guns off uh, the streets. But let's be fucking real. It is not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Meanwhile, that's the main issue here. But what are people focusing on? Well, it turns out this guy and a bunch of other accounts... I've been stating that this is yet another Democrat shooter. Louisville mass shooter has been identified as Connor Sturgeon, who used the pronouns he, him. Like they're saying he's leftist or a Democrat because he has the he, him in his bio. Isn't that just like a fucking LinkedIn thing? Like, when you just say what your fucking pronouns are, like, like these dumbasses think when you fucking click on, like, I don't get it. Like, Justin, I said it again. These guys are extremists or whatever. Uh, he says, Justin, Louisville mass shooter, identified as Connor Sturgeon, who identified as he, him. I've said it again. It's not the guns. It's the pronoun extremist. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. Everyone that has killed someone in a mass shooting has had pronouns. Including this guy. Who also has he, him in the bio. So. What's up with that? Everyone has a. Gender pronoun. What is going on in the world? I am sometimes a little alarmed with what we have done with the no child left behind policies. I am sometimes a little alarmed with how much the funds have been taken away from public institutions of learning. The other day I saw a TikTok that went viral. There was a viral trend on TikTok that revolved around how light reflects off of mirrors and and allows you to see i'm not even kidding this was like literally i think they teach that in like third grade um that was one thing where i was like okay well science is not everyone's cup of tea right like they put an egg behind a piece of paper and they go how does the mirror see the egg like it's gotta be magic 